So I booked a kind of an off-brand hotel last night. It turned out to be a little sketchy. I just want to say that. But, you know, sometimes that lemon to lemonade thing comes true. It's cruise day. I just opened the windows. This is the best hotel room ever, Steve. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We've got the NCL Bliss. That's our ride today with the sun rising behind it, backing its way into the port of Los Angeles here in San Pedro. This is uh, this is pretty spectacular. Wow, talk about uh, opening the curtain at the right time. We also have bagels coming from Uber Eats, so uh, the day is starting out well. It's crow's day. Uh, we board that ship there and... I think four or five hours, five hours. Haven, yeah, let's go. So look, the, the hotel, not too bad. It's the, it's the port side suite and inns. It was about $200 less than anything else in the area, but it's it's got some age on it. Like it it definitely has some age on it. Uh, I don't know if I don't know if I'm a recommend or not recommend on it, but man, just being able to see the bliss and I just ran into some other folks that uh, are cruising today that watch the show, so other cruisers are definitely staying here, so I don't want to dissuade anybody, but just come in with an open mind that it's a, it's a little questionable. And then the ship is just docked right down the road here. Let me show you. I don't know if we can even see it, but it's behind the trees here. Well, I can't see, you can't see it really well, but it's, it's beyond that stoplight there. The ship is just behind that building. And then it is really nice down here. There's a maritime museum. There's a war memorial. So right here in San Pedro, there was a Mexican restaurant we went to last night around the corner. Uber Eats just showed up with bagels and breakfast. So uh, yeah, we'll go back to the cabin here, or back to the cabin, not yet. Back to the room and uh, take a look at this breakfast. Wow, cruise day. So hungry, I forgot to show you guys the bagel. Pretty good bagel here in California. Let me let me show you the way I rock a bagel. Pretty simple. I like that salt bagel with the plain cream cheese schmear. Unless uh, unless we're going salmon, then I work it all the way up. But there's gonna be a lot of food on there. Just want a little something something to get us uh, get us going today. 6:39 a.m. The time change is crazy. I think I think I've been up since four. But uh, yeah, we we're gonna go over to the terminal about 10:30 or 11. So. A few hours to kill. <sighs> Why is time moving so slowly? So slow. All right. We were going to just wait it out, but I think we're going to go across the street and see if we can see the ship from the little dock over in the park there. It's 934. We don't want to show up the port too early because we don't think we'll be able to get in. So uh, let's go hit the streets. All right. So here we are on the streets. It's another look at the hotel. We're gonna go check out this little park over here. All right, so we're across the street at the Maritime Museum or the Merchant Marine Museum, that's what it is. Uh, but this is probably the closest I ever wanna be to this. I'm pretty sure that's a legit torpedo. Look at that torpedo, you got a big anchor. It's really cool though, you got all this nice little walking and seating area. We're gonna go to the end of this little pier and see if, uh, see if we can see our ship here at the Port of Los Angeles. Man, it's a nice morning. Wait, what is this over here? Is this like an old diving bell? Surely like a person wouldn't get sealed in that. What the heck is this? Hmm. I mean, it definitely has an opening. It's not a diving bell, is it? There's no windows other than that front window. I don't know. What I do know is I jacked my knee up a little bit when I was on the Eurodam about a day before the end of the cruise just last week. And, whew, it's going to be an interesting week of walking, I'll tell you that much. There we go. Wow. So you got some sort of gun here. That's wild. As you would think some of these outside things would have like a placard. Placard. So my, uh, I think we're a mile from the pier. So the, the bliss came through the opening here and then made its way down through here. And then I think it's on the, oh, there it is. You can kind of see it now. Look at it, massive. 
but there's an old uh, battleship in front of it, the USS Iowa. So yeah, we're, we're not super far from the cruise ship. But I think we're far enough to where we don't want to drag our bags for a mile. So probably take like an Uber over there. But what a cool port area, man. There is so much, so many containers over there. There is quite a lot going on here, just at this little pier area. The, I'll show you this. So you've got, this seems more like a ferry boat. And then you've got a fire station over there. Of course, you got three tugs, the big cargo container area, battleship, cruise ship, and then over here on the other side of the dock, you even got a little flotilla, a little armada of of kind of police boats. So those, that's a police boat there. Hydrographic survey, Port of Los Angeles construction division. division. So I wonder if that like checks out the channel depth and I don't know man I love the water there's so much cool stuff over here so you may remember the last time we were in California we failed when we got fruit from a fruit vendor and well California is mocking us got a fruit vendor I think we were, weren't getting ready to go and all you can eat food for a week I think we might get into it but I think we're gonna pass today in the circle here though you do have a sign for the San Pedro fish market uh, harbor cruise and whale watching quite a bit over here. Now that I've walked around this area, let me give you a little clarity so you know what you're getting into. I'm on Harbor Boulevard, which is really close to the cruise terminal and to the museum for the battleship, the USS Iowa. And the museum that's in front of me is the Los Angeles Maritime Museum. And then what was confusing me is the memorial in front of it is a memorial for merchant marines. American Merchant Marine Memorial. Cool statue up here and then kind of a Vietnam wall memorial type scenario with names on it. So I'll show you that. It's a great statue here. Being rescued. So here's the memorial. It's got the name of the ship and the sailor. It's really nice. Here's another look at the port side in and suites. Again, it's, you know, the sleeping was good. It's just really dated, like to the point where I didn't necessarily want to show the room. It was, you know, it looked pretty rough. The furniture was beat up and all that kind of stuff. Looks like it used to be a Motel 6. But again, it was 130 bucks and everything else over here was three or $400. So, um, but if you want to be this close, there's also a Crown Plaza around the corner. So there's options, but uh, Portside Inn and Suites right on the right on Harbor Boulevard. The other thing I didn't realize last night is that this Little Italy starts here. So we ate at that Mexican restaurant there, but seemingly up the road there might have been some Italian restaurants. Uh, next time, Steve. Next time for sure. Next time. It's pretty cool. Oh man, can we go to the port yet or not? It feels early still. What do you think? Can we risk it? Nice. A little early. I'd rather be early than early. Fortunately, it's not super hot, so if we're stuck waiting outside, it's could be worse. It's gonna be warm later, though. It could be warm. It's like gonna be in, only in the 80s, though. But it, you can tell it's starting to get warm. Maybe I'm just being unfair. It's it's not horrible. Here's the we had two beds, nice big work area, desk, TV didn't work. But like, there's wear and tear. It's you know, wear and tear. A little dated, but man, the view hard to beat. I really just thought, why pay four or three thirty when I could pay one thirty? Plus, I had an ace in the hole, Steve Silver. Yep. Now, well, well worth it with the view. With now, the view. if this would have been Jenny B, uh, see, look, he's smiling. Look at. I know he's Jenny smiling. B wouldn't have been happy. But if it was Jenny, I think this is the look we would have got. All right, ten eleven. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, 
Oh yeah. I cooked it. Here we go. All right, so here we are. We're on the NCL Bliss. First up, though, muster station before we go to the cabin. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. with a G7. All right, so we've made it to the Haven restaurant for our first lunch. Let me show you this menu. Here's the lineup appetizers you got mushroom flatbread, seafood frito, misto, crudites, crudets, crudites, and soups and salads. Wow, look at all these selections. Sandwiches. French dip, that looks good. Full on entrees for lunch. Shrimp scampi, pan seared scallops, salmon, steak frites, spaghetti squash, and a bunch of dessert. I think it's the same lunch menu all week, so uh, there's a lot of things to try on here. I'll show you what we got. Check out this bread. So you know, we got some pretzel roll and some butter. Well, <laughs> look at this. We've completed lunch and now we've made it to our Haven cabin. This is a wild, this is a wild space. Let me, let me show it to you. So this is what it looks like when you walk in. I, I did not anticipate this setup at all. Now we still have to get them to separate the beds, but you have this nice king size bed here and a jacuzzi tub, which uh, I don't know that we'll use the jacuzzi tub, but it, this is nice. Like if this is, gosh, if you, yeah, this is nice. And we have this table, this dining table, where they'll come in and they'll set up dinner for us. We also have our own espresso machine, and we've got, looks like some champagne. Got the water. I think the water, since I'm a Latitudes guest, I think we got that. Shore excursion tickets. So you got this big workspace, or this big counter area. Looks like you got a little desk over here. Huge closet. Wow, this is wow. Like, that's a lot of closet, actually. Big closet. And you got this. A very big bathroom. This is nice. Sand up stall. Wow, looks like you got a bunch of choices for the shower head. Big double sink. What's up? Pretty nice. Uh, I forgot to mention the floors. Let me show you the floors. Yeah, a little wooden floor action. And a pretty sizable balcony, it looks like. Let's take a look at this balcony. Wow, yeah. It's a good sized balcony. good view of the port of Los Angeles. All right, so 4.12 p.m. We are sailing away from the port of Los Angeles. Um, you know, I don't spend a lot of time on a balcony, but this balcony is pretty nice. Let's check in with Steve, because I, I think he may be enjoying this balcony. This balcony is the best ever. You look best very uh, relaxed. Unbelievable. We are underway. What's wild is we're on the Bliss and they have that wonderful whale painting by Wyland on the hull. But check this out as we're leaving San Pedro. We got this cool whale mural down here. San Pedro, California. Such a massive cargo area. Look at all those containers. And then even across this area, there's a whole nother set of docks, berths. It's just massive, the amount of shipping and 
maritime traffic they have here in Port of Los Angeles. Look at this ship, man. Swinging out wide. One perk I'm already digging from the Haven is fruit. Unlimited apples, baby. That's how the rich live. I don't know. Maybe they do. Rich people out there, do you have a lot of apples in your house? I've seen some beautiful sailaways. This is certainly, can it be beautiful and industrial? I mean, it's not like going out of Sydney or New York, but it's still pretty cool. But out to the Pacific we go. Five twenty-one p.m. already dark here on the west coast see the lights there that's the carnival ship we're out here on the lido deck see on the lido and uh i tell you what this is pretty nice questions every week who is available just exploring the ship a little bit we're gonna go to the show at seven so uh trying to get our bearings here understand what's going on this is deck 17 they've got this cool walking track and that kind of leads over to the go-karts. We're gonna go look at the go-karts. Look at these slides. Slides, slides everywhere. We got the go-kart track up here, yeah. All right, so 5.30. The plan is to go to the Beatles show at 7.30, but we want to eat dinner in the Haven. They're open till 9.30, so we're going to pregame a little bit. Just because Steve's never been on Norwegian, he's never had any food at the local. So here we are at the local, uh, going to gonna have something. I don't know what, chicken wings or something. Here, here's the menu. It's the local bar and grill. Local bar. OK, what do we have here? Uh, here's the drinks. We'll get through those quickly. What would you have? Would you have this? I don't know. More cocktails. Lots of drinks over here. More drinks. Where's the food, man? Okay, here we go. Starters, soup of the day, chili, cob salad, Caesar, half dozen chicken wings, spinach and artichoke. Oh, those grilled sausage sliders are good. Pretzel bites, nachos. Oh, I forgot about the Reuben. I'm going to have to go half for Reuben. Reuben, chicken salad sandwich, cheeseburger, Wrangler burger, blue cheeseburger, hot dog. Also, you got the favorite, the fish and chips, and the desserts. All right, so here's uh, here's some of the food. I got the Reuben. Stevie got some chicken wings, a little pretzel bite. It's pretty good, pretty good. All right, so we got our pregame food on at the local. We're still trying to, we still got a while before the Beatles show. So we've snuck over to Q, which is the barbecue restaurant. The cool thing is they have like a full menu of food here, but you can also just sit off to the side and have drinks. So we're waiting for Victoria to come on, but here's a look at Q. It smells, it's a barbecue place, so you can smell the smoke in here, but we just ordered the signature cocktails. We're getting the smoked peach margarita, and they got a variety of whiskey and bourbons cocktails we got the moscow mule side so i gotta try the sidecar the rye tie beers there we go the smoked peach margarita this looks pretty good don't drink much but we have the package so you're gonna try some steve's reaction here what do you think very peachy very good i like peachy? it i like it it's yeah. smoking it's smoking i am trying to some sort of on the rim thing Salt. Mm. That is weird. The peach, but a peach with a little different taste. Not bad. Not bad. White snake for the barbecue restaurant. All right, excellent performance by Victoria, but it's time for the Beatles. The Beatles. Showtime. I did see the show on the NCL Joy, one of my favorite shows, so I'm super stoked. The Beatles show was great. 
What do you think of the video show, Steve? It was awesome. Really good. Felt like I was there. We're still we're still delaying uh, going to dinner. Like I said, it, so it's about eight fifteen right now, and we could probably head up there at nine. But we're gonna check out a game show here in the atrium. We're kind of perched up over here at the local. I'll show you the show you the view. It's like this show is called. Their game show is called Last One Standing. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of folks waiting to see the show. Who's going to be right? Who's going? Oh, they've separated. Three, two, one. We started with 18,000 people in this game, and we're down to two, four, six, eight. All right. Uh, I believe it's Father and Son here. They've split up. Artemis and the goddess of hunting and the goddess Okay. The sun says great. He wants to take the side. He dances Roman. You got me there? Hey there. Yeah? Okay. So let's find out. In three, two, one. And the battle is on. Ah, nice box. Yeah. That's a pretty fun game. I think the dad may be sacrificed for the son, but yeah, very good. Very cool. All right, before we go to dinner, let me show you this. This is up on the Haven, deck 19. It's your hot tub, swimming pool. Even got like chairs in the water. This is nice. You got you know places to sit up here. You got bathrooms. And, uh, definitely away from the crowds. It's only been a few hours, but I'm certainly understanding the appeal of the the appeal of the Haven. Hi. Thank you. All right, so here we are, the Haven for dinner. Let me let me show you this menu. First time we're seeing it. Shrimp Louie, egg tartare, pork belly, risotto, deviled eggs, wow, butternut squash soup, green goddess salad, Caesar, sea salt roasted beets, mignon trays, trout, crab cakes, surf and turf, pork chop, chicken, pork scallops. Scallopini. Wow. So, like, one of the things that uh, that's the appeal of the Haven is no crowd. Uh, let me just show you. At nine o'clock at night, this is what half of the dining room looks like. Gloriously empty. So nice. Really, is a ship within a ship. It's pretty cool. Wow. Look at this. It's the tuna. Looks delicious. Man, that food is so good, but uh, they just brought us another menu. Let me show you the dessert menu. Blueberry, violet, yogurt, mousse, decadent chocolate, coconut mousse, OMG caramel butterscotch cheesecake, ice cream and sorbet. It's just too much food, honestly. I think we ate half of everything so far and just forcing myself to try something for dessert. But look, it's just a cruise life. What are you gonna do? All right, so we're just taking a little walkabout after dinner. Went through the observation lounge. Check this out. Huge ship model. Wow. I don't know what the actual scale is, but that one's huge. And then, of course, one of my favorite things about cruise ships are all these plaques. Anytime they go to a new destination, they have the plaque exchange. I really like that they have it on display. Well, that was a pretty fun-filled day. Like I said, uh, lemons to lemonade from seeing this beautiful ship as the sun rose above it as it came into the port of Los Angeles to get ready to jump in this big bed. It's uh, pretty
pretty good day. Um, big thanks to Norwegian Cruise Line for having me on board. And I can't wait to see what the next six days holds or seven day. I don't know. It's a seven day cruise. So I think six more days. But uh, pretty good first night. Hope you enjoyed this adventure. Subscribe for more. It's Tony for La Lido Loca. Until the next time. We'll see you on the Lido. Bye.